Hello everyone and welcome to this Kitsai Control tutorial. In this video, we'll talk about tags. Tags are a powerful instrument for audience segmentation. They allow you to remember information about your contacts that you can then use for future campaigns to make sure that you're always sending your contacts emails and promos that they will be interested in. As you can see, this is the tags section of the GetSight Control dashboard. From here, you can create new tags and see the tags that you have already created in your GetSight Control dashboard, as well as how many contacts have those tags and when the tags were created. If you go over each tag, you can proceed to edit it or delete it. But how can you assign tags to your contacts? In GetSight Control, there are three ways to do that. First, you can assign tags automatically when contacts join your list via one of your GetSight Control forms. Let's take a look at that. This one here is an email opt-in form, as you can see, where contacts can express a preference for the kind of content that they would like to get. It can be about shoes, bags, or sunglasses and jewelry. Let's take a quick look at the settings of this field. Um, the field ID is preferences. And here we have the options. Instead of the default uh, option names, option one, option two, option three, I have renamed my options uh, according to the content. And you should do that too, because we'll need that for the next step. Let's head over to the integrations tab. There is a contact section at the top. Let's click map fields. Here you can map the widgets fields and decide where the information collected by the fields is going in the contact section. And here at the bottom, you can assign tags. As you can see, I have already set up two tags for shoes and bags, and I'll, uh, I'll now show you how to set up the third tag for sunglasses and jewelry. So I'll click add tags. And instead of always as for when uh, I'm going to add the tag to my contacts, I'll select if preferences, so if the field preferences is any of, and then here I'll choose my third option, jewelry and glasses. Then add the jewelry and sunglasses tag, this one here. And that's it. That was the first uh, option to assign tags to contacts. The second option is via automations. Let's head over to the automation section. This one is one of my automations. And as you can see from the actions menu, you can assign tags to your contacts as an action within the automation. You can assign the tag to all the contacts within the automation, or you can use the tag to segment um, the contacts within the automation. So for example, here, um, my automation is triggered when contacts click on a link about my shoes collection in one of my um, promo emails. So I could assign a tag to all my contacts within the automation to remember that they are interested in shoes. So I'll click add tag and select shoes from my list. And I can have it up um, as my first action. Or if I wanted to segment my audience, for example, uh, if I have a different promo for my Canadian contacts, I can tag only those contacts to send them the promo later on. So I can add another tag. And then set a condition to assign that tag because I don't want to assign it to all my contacts in the automation. And I'm going to choose country from the list of conditions. And then select Canada from the list. And that's it. That was the second option to assign tags. The third option would be to assign tags manually from the contacts section of the GetSight Control dashboard. So let's head over there. Here is my contact section. And if I select one of my contacts, I can add a tag. I can assign a tag to it. I can also assign tags to multiple contacts, by the way, if I select all of them. I can choose my tag from the list. It can be the same tag shoes, for example. 
And here it is assigned to my contact. And that's it. That was all I had to say about tags. Now go experiment with tags and audience segmentation in your GetSight Control dashboard.